Okay, so we're gonna get started. And then I guess you're the opening line. Yeah, I guess it's me. Okay. I'm nervous. John Bailey's looking at me. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> It is the year 1986 and the third great war between the heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons continues to be waged. As both sides continue their battle on both Earth and Cybertron, another war has just concluded centuries in the future. John can do this better. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maximal Commander Optimus Primal was resurrected by Primus to lead the charge against Unicron during the Unicronian Wars, but his return came at a price. Since both were linked to the Oracle before their demise, Primus was forced to resurrect Megatron from the Matrix as well, taking refuge on Cybertron's moon. Megatron and his surviving Viacon generals secretly prepare to retake Cybertron. Optimus and a coalition of Maximals and Autobots managed to prevent the Predacon from carrying out his plan. But he managed to escape in the ensuing confusion. With a transwarp-equipped vessel in his possession, Megatron fled into the past with the intention of altering it so his Decepticon ancestors would win the war. Predicting such a scenario, Optimus dispatched a second team of Maximals and Autobots, charged with tracking down Megatron before he inflicts any damage to the time flow. TFCon is proud to present Generation Gap. Good news, BossBot. Good news, BossBot. We made it through the Transwarp portal in one piece. Oh, I should have known old Greatface would try to reseal the portal as soon as he went through. Thankfully, we had you on board, Bulkhead. Your Transwarp drives aren't that different from space bridges. I've managed to jury rig it open, but it won't last forever. We've got about a megacycle before it slams shut, and we're stuck here for good. Then we need to find Megatron as quickly as possible. Silverbolt, are you able to get a lock on Megatron's vessel? Unfortunately not, my beloved. I suspect his Starhopper was equipped with a cloaking device as well. I would have better luck finding it with my nose. <sighs> Marvelous. All right. Rover, scan the area for the closest Autobot installation and take us down. Are you sure that's wise? I have a feeling that's where Megatron will be heading. And as long as we keep a low profile, we should be fine. I've found something. It looks like a small outpost located 100 clicks from the Ark. Good enough. Override, take us down. Roger that, Commander. Hey, Warpath, check out the radar. Are you seeing what I see? It? Yeah, it's pow. Looks like a zoom shuttle. But it's a blam. Not one of ours. Better Kazam contact headquarters. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> uh, Bumblebee to Teletran 1. Please respond. Oh, ceasefire here. Go ahead, Bumblebee. Oh, God, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that in 30-some years. <laughs> I'm still all wet. <laughs> Our radar, uh, radar system just picked up the signal of an unknown shuttle. Uh, we don't think it's one of ours, but it doesn't look like one of the Decepticreeps creeps either. Uh, we picked up the signal here also. Uh, whoever they are, they've been ignoring our attempts to establish contact. Prime wants you and Warpath to investigate it before the Decepticons catch on. We'll rendezvous with you shortly. Mm -hmm. You got it, hot spot. Warpath, let's roll. So this is Earth, hmm? Compared to Velocitron, it's rather primitive. <laughs> At least its inhabitants and their technology have progressed significantly compared to the last time Black Arachnia and I were here. I kind of like it. The Autobot headquarters embedded in a mountain located against the desert backdrop. It's like a work of art. You don't see much of anymore. All right, that's enough sightseeing. We've got work to do. Override, I need you to scout up ahead for any sign of Decepticons attack! Oh, for the love of Primus. <laughs> you see, from the cracker, I told you the Autobots were up to something in this quadrant. I don't know, Starscream. These things might look like Autobots, but they sure don't look like any of the ones we fought against before. Wait, that's this dimension Starscream? 
Unfortunately for us, yes. Hmm. He definitely resembles the one from my universe, but this one looks less shaded and pretty two-dimensional. <laughs> I heard that few miserable piles of scrap. I don't care what kind of Autobots you might be. As long as I destroy every last one of you, the Decepticons will have no choice but to make me their new leader. It's Starscream, all right? Looks like he always dreamed in Technicolor. <laughs> what are your orders, Commander? I say we dispose of these two, scrap Metatron where he stands, and get ourselves back home. Whoa, whoa, cool your nitro samurai. We can't afford to make such drastic moves. <laughs> it appears that may no longer be an option. Look! Okay, Autobots, transform! <sighs> of all the times! You are too late, Autobots. Thundercracker and I are ready to reduce your comrades to puddles of melting slag! <laughs> comrades? Zork! What comrades? We've never seen these guys before. Well, uh, half of them are wearing our insignia, so they have to be some type of Autobot. Well, who are they and where do they come from? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Everyone, keep your processors shut. Being spotted by the local Autobots and Decepticons is bad enough, but anything you say or do from this point on could have drastic consequences on our universe. Fear not. I do not believe any of us would act so foolishly. What a buddy! Slag. Slag. Oh man, I can't believe you're here. It's been a deck of cycles since I last saw you. Uh, guys, who, who's this bot and why is he squeezing the sh uh, spark out of me? <laughs> <laughs> What did Black Arachnia just say? Drop him. Sorry, my bad. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Our apologies. Our comrade can get a little overly excited at times. I'm just a little homesick is all. And you've got to admit, this guy does look a lot like Bumblebee. Well, then, what is Bumblebee? I'm starting to get a processor ache. What exactly is going on here, hmm? I fear we are out of options, dark poison of my heart. We must disclose our mission to them. Oh, I hate to admit it, but you're right. Autobots and Decepticons, we mean you no harm. Our team has traveled from a distance to track down and capture a renegade who wants to destroy you all. No, no, wait, 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 Nano. Are you saying <laughs> that you're from the future? Because if that's true, then why are you two diminished? <laughs> uh, you're, you're even smaller than us minibots. I guess the MicroMaster program got off the ground after all. <laughs> <laughs> Bulkhead and myself are from different universes altogether. Uh, we were drafted into this timeline to fight against, well, we can't really say. If we did, it could result in... The extermination of your kind, Autobot scum! <laughs> uh, Megatran blasts Bumblebee in the chest. Oh! <laughs> Bumblebee! Bumblebee! Ah, oh, my first victim of the day, yes. But you will not be my last. No, every last one of you will fall to my unmatched power. Remember the way, are you still functional? Yeah, I, I think so. It's just a shell wound. <laughs> I, I was lucky. If the blast had struck me an inch to the left, it would have shattered my vocal processor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Bumblebee unable to speak? That's a disturbing thought. <laughs> yeah, you pack wow, quite a punch. Too bad for you, Bort. I know how to punch back. Warpath fires a blast at Megatron. <sighs> ah, curse it, Autobot. You will pay dearly for that. And you'll pay dearly for almost beating another version of my best buddy. Ah! Ah, this is becoming a free-for-all. I'm not sure who we should help. This so-called renegade seems to be spark-bent on vanquishing the Autobots. We help him. Your assistance is not required, Starscream. Megatron fires a blast at Starscream. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you dare attack me? I'll have your spark for that. 
Consider it vengeance for events yet to transpire, my loyal lieutenant. Jeez, this guy's out of his processor. He doesn't care who he blasts. He's always been a few chips short of a motherboard. <laughs> That's besides the point. You're right. We need to work together to take him down before he causes any more damage. I want to help, too. If anyone deserves the right to destroy you Autobots, it should be this generation's Megatron. Uh, good enough for me. Pow! Everyone, go! Concentrate your... Boom! Fire! Hit him with everything you got! Slash! Got! Multiple rounds are fired at Megatron. <laughs> Is he offline? Well, it's hard to say. But I can't say, I can't see how anything could walk away from that. <laughs> I think you might have spoken too soon, my man. Oh, a valiant effort, I admit. But other than some artificial wounds, you only managed to disable my primary weapon. Without your weaponry, you are no match for us. Megatron, if you surrender yourself now, I personally promise this time you will be transported back to Cybertron within the shuttle's interior. <laughs> surrender? <laughs> I shall do no such thing, my former minion. For I still have the advantage. Yes. Oh, what's he talking about? Did you honestly believe I would come to this time so unprepared? I still hold all the cards, and I can still achieve my ultimate goal through my vast knowledge of Cybertronian history. For example, what do you think would happen if Bumblebee were to learn a gold bug? Wait, 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 hold, hold on just a second. Gold what? <laughs> or how he and Warpath were unable to save the Ark from Trypticon's wrath. Bang, boom. What's a Trypticon? That's enough, Megatron. I have extensive knowledge of all your respective futures, along with the outcome of the Great War. With just a few choice words, I can drastically alter the course of history. Yes! Not if we have anything to say about it. Come on, Autobots, concentrate your fire, and let's shut this guy down for good. Your and your allies cannot silence me. Allow me to, if you will, reveal the casualty list from the attack on Autobot City. A single shot is fired and strikes Megatron. <laughs> what the scrap was that? That blast. It was Starscream's no ray. It's new, completely neutralized him. He's, he's gone into zinc stasis lock. Starscream, you saved us? Why? Because I already know my future. <laughs> I know that I will become the leader of the Decepticons, but I do not wish to know how my rise to power will come to pass. Even though your intentions are selfish in nature, you have our deepest thanks. So long as you do not mention what you witnessed here today to anyone else. No, uh, don't worry, we won't. We wouldn't want to interfere with Starscream's grandeur now, would we? Yeah, I hate to get in the way of Starscream's ego, but uh, shouldn't we be doing something about your hostage? The effect of the null ray isn't gonna last forever. Don't worry, we have that covered. Bulkhead, the stasis cuffs, if you will. There. Now he'll stay nice and still until he's locked back up on Cybertron. Good. Thank you all for your help apprehending this. Well, I'm happy to be of service, ma'am. Yeah, but why did Megatron call me that name? Oh, Bumblebee, you know she can't answer that. Yeah, I know. It's, it's just, it's going to gnaw away at my processor. Let's just say it's a temporary identity crisis beyond your control. Oh. We've, uh, experienced a few of those ourselves. <laughs> Believe me when I say that whatever happens, know that it won't last forever. Well, okay, that's good enough for me. Megatron's securely aboard the shuttle, Commander. All right, it's time for us to go. Maybe our paths will cross again in a few centuries. Well, that sure was interesting, to say the least. Boy, I'll say it was. But seeing all of us working together for the for the greater good did give me hope for the future. Come on, everybody. We need to get back to the base. Transform and roll out.
To all of our, our guest cast, very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Thank you.